Hello everyone! Hope y'all are doing well today. Apparently the music I was trying to play didn't, so I'm like, we'll just go ahead and start. So it's not just awkward silence for like five minutes. Um, today we're doing Life is Strange though, which I'm really, really excited about, but also a little nervous. Um, I know it came out a few years ago, but I, I bought it. I've just never played it. I've, <laughs> I've really, really wanted to try it out, but I've been kind of nervous to. I've seen playthroughs of it. Uh, okay, I've seen one playthrough of it, but it was when it first came out, so I don't even remember. I remember, like, the big, there was a big scene in it. That's the only thing that really stuck in my brain for the most part. So we're going to... Jump right into the game is weird. I tried to mess around with it. Once you like open the game, I couldn't get out of it. Like some games, when it's in the menu, you can like move your cursor onto your other monitor. So I can't. So it's gonna be awkward for a second. <laughs> Cause you're gonna see my home screen. It's whatever though. So do this. And then we gotta open it. I know it's a little jank, but <laughs> hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. So now I can still see chat and stuff. Should work. There we go. <laughs> I was like, please work, please work, please work. Um, and it goes too fast. I can't read it. Hey, Shane. How's it going? We're playing Life is Strange today for the first time. <laughs> Thanks for being here so early. Dang. I hope you're having a good day. We are. I'm a little nervous for this game. Okay, so this was like we did a test run, but it didn't even start. So we're gonna start a new game. And just jump right into it. Cause like this is such chill music. I do love the soundtrack for this game. So let's start. Uh, new game, I guess. Because we that's all we got. Life Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I love games like this so much. Like, oh, choices matter. It makes it feel more real. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. 
I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? How? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally how? haunted by the eyes of those sad oh, mothers no. and children. I don't know how. To... What are she the controls? Hang on. I don't know the controls for this game apparently. To move the camera, but how do I? It said to look, but I don't know. Kennedy is tortured, right? We're struggling. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. <gasps> how do Seriously, we... though. Oh! <laughs> from any one of you. Look at this crap. Dumb, 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 how dumb. Can I show this okay, to Mr. we got Jefferson. it though. I can hear the class laughing at me that now. That is a really cool shot, though. Okay. In the dark corner, and capture oh. you in a moment of yeah, desperation. Yeah, we'll look at it. I do now love my analog camera. Do that to me. I should take a quick picture now. Isn't that too easy? We'll take a picture of ourselves. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. What if I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. <laughs> We're going to She had a brilliant eye. I love so this. She could have taken another approach. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. <laughs> of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. We're going to take it slow. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I didn't know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> Sad face. The Daguerrean process brought out. I haven't kept up with my face. journal as much as I should. It became extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American Daguerreo. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Cornelius. You can find out all. If anybody else looked at this, what Holy would they think? Holy crap. October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. I'm not... Do I have to read all this? I should probably read all this. But it's too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate, let me... Oh, soon. Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held... A of my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that back Backstroke Fest? You so punny, Max. <laughs> At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy, as my parents love telling me on a loop. You have all the time in the world. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Uh, July 10th, I got accepted to Blackwell Academy. She got into it. She's going to Blackwell Academy. Uh, maybe in Seattle, Acadia Bay, that's where we are. Chloe could have moved to Seattle. Oh, this is so much reading, I didn't realize. Okay, we're just, I'm gonna skim through it. <laughs> City was made for Chloe. We played pirates in our rooms in the woods. Seemed like Seattle was fabled. Faraway island of treasure. Uh, get a study photography. <laughs> I never really found a group of my classmates or boys. Maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. 
That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and just raiding the thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat, and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared but excited, and I don't feel like crying at all. It tingles down my arms and sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. September 2nd, 12.07 a.m., very specific. My first entry for my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew, I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can, uh, but I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Uh, September 3rd. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. How could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy <laughs> sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her new own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it'd be easier being back. Call the Wambulance. I don't want this day to end all. Woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. There's more to tell, but journal forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass out of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with these teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip. Just says what he thinks and expects, expects, expects us to... Expects... <laughs> I cannot talk! And expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. OMG, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social so, social dysfunction. Oh my gosh. September 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guest of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite Vortex Club that puts on popular parties and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes me her more beautiful than the, <laughs> the beaches here. Like Victoria, who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. Perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. 
The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly what I want to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time just to stress and procrastinate. September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like, I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle, particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates to society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life. Unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? And then this is the one we read. There was so much. What are these little? Oh, Max, Jefferson, Kate, Victoria. Oh, oh, okay. What about him? In your textbook, <laughs> or even online. Mm -hmm. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> Oh, oh, we get to look around. <gasps> We're gonna look around. Everything. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Uh, Popeye is grunge dead. Kitchen Lace works from Mark Jefferson. 10 reasons to get electronic mail. Whoa. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. <laughs> that was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. <laughs> They're all so cute. Ooh. Look at it all. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. We're not gonna read it. There's so much. This to look is at. definitely where cameras go to heaven. <laughs> oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. There's so much what? happening. Oh, look. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Nice. Let's talk to Kate. We're looking. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Oh. Poor thing. She's Hi, so Kate. Sweet. Oh. Hi, Max. Um. You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Oh. She's so now sweet. I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh my gosh. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. XOXO Blackwell Academy. What the heck? I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Oh my gosh. We gotta look at the graffiti. Huh, this might make a cool shot. We're gonna take a photo of everything. Cause why not? <laughs> I 
I don't even know what it says. Rachel Amber forever. Oh, we gotta look at the TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Calm down, Max. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. It is a cool lighthouse. Oh, we're just gonna look at behind the teacher's desk. Whoa, That's Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Let's look at Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I forgot her name for a second. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. No question on the Excuse teacher. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Dang, all right. Speaking facts. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Can't believe this is October 9th, 2013. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Harry. Yeah, I think you have to have some sort of test because Max wants everybody to see how good she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. <sighs> She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Oh no, I think. I don't know if the music is okay to play. Well, can we just, can we turn off the music? I'm, uh, can we just, just turn off the music? It's just gonna be awkward. I just don't. <laughs> Alyssa I don't is know. always texting, but you know? she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. We're just gonna play it Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Our little locker. Oh my gosh, there's so many That's people. Dana talking to I think his name is Justin. Does he have a jaw shirt on? <laughs> Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Brooke looks I've cool. seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Oh my gosh, we gotta fight somebody. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Freaking Vortex Club. Poor Daniel, club. he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Do it. Beat him up. Beat his butt. 
It looks like she's been gone for months. Mm -hmm. Rachel Amber. Oh, Halloween party. We said we wanted to go to a Halloween party. I wish October would last forever. <laughs> Same. I also love Halloween, but not for the spooks. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Seems like a lot is happening. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Save Arcadia Bay. Over the past decade, climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. Oh, we zoomed in. I that. wonder what actually happened to her. Hmm. The plot thickens. Good thing I left my AK at home. <gasps> Why are you so sassy? Oh my gosh, the bathroom's there. Who else can we talk to? We're just gonna look at everybody. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. That's cool. Can we look at the... Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. I love her. Oh. It looks like she's been gone for months. We just keep looking at... The poor girl. Can we talk to anybody else? Juliet? Oh, I love the name Juliet. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Who are you? Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. <laughs> oh. I wonder what actually happened to Okay, her. we can stop looking at the missing persons now. Ooh? Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. You write them. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. What is all this? You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. So I'm like an otter. Oh, <laughs> sad, lonely, depressed. Old Bible study. A little concert, looks like. Like new tablets for sale. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Let's not judge. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Oh? Oh? The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. <laughs> She's so sad sounding. Miss Grant. Who Miss Grant her? is a great science teacher. Uh, Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Hmm. All right, I guess we're heading to the bathroom. That's our goal. Can't open it. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Oh, that's not very nice. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Nah, let's look around before we wash our face. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Head look. Couldn't not look. This poster must drive people to have sex. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Too much. Too much sharing. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. really sketchy school. 
just looking like huh just relax stop torturing yourself you have a gift fuck it no when a door closes a window opens or something like that Hey girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. We're a photo it. Heck with the looking. Oh no. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass I this got that so got intense so me. fast. No! Whoa. Oh, I forgot that this Ow. just... Ow. Wow, Ow. okay. I was in the bathroom. <laughs> he shot oh that gosh. poor girl. I held up my hand. Oh, and then no, no, no. I was back here. Oh, no, 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 no. These pieces of time can frame us in I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now shadow. Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now Shit. it's real, but can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Uh, I'm assuming we're going back to an our camera. I did now. it. Can you I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't Hi, freak Arvis. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. We're gonna take Why a Arvis? selfie again? Because of her images of hopelessness. When I took my selfie, time. Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me no, after class. We don't want that. I need time to save that girl. We better go back. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? Let's go back. The right answer. The 
this is so Oh, well, we have to go further. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Look at this. The Daguerrean well, process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. So we you can learn more when you. If anybody else looked at this, what we would did. they think? This does not exist. October 7th. This will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how or where to start. But it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of the cliff, and I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face, and I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse, and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class, and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest, while Victoria did her usual suck-up. Jefferson. He's so cool and he clearly wants me to succeed. Oh! To actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everything. Okay. And guys, okay. don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. Now run the You bathroom. are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes. Can we talk to Kate again? Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I just really think everyday heroes is an important. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later we if gotta you show want. Love to Kate. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Kate's so sweet. No who wins. All right. This is just a I feel like we gotta road. talk to him again, though. Uh, I don't want anybody. To Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse, Excuse us. us. I'd never let one of photography's future. Oh. I'm not avoiding. I'm not just avoiding. For it. Just biding time. Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Dang straight. Can we still take a picture of the desk, though? Wait. What? I can't move with nothing. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. When do I <sighs> press control? Oh. What are we going? Did I did I make a mistake? Bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. Should I leave? Not Should I not everybody. talk to him? I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh. I made oops. I should have skipped dialogue. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, we're gonna use his own quote I'm against on top him. Of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. <laughs> Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in today? you. Okay. So apparently that was the right answer. Open that door. We're gonna run. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Oh, don't please, you run. please. Hold shift. I can't tell door. anybody. Oh, they'll think I'm crazy. Your dad. You know I don't taste. I hate that science class with those. We're just gonna 
bust in the door. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Well, with the thing, I washed my the face. We saw the I butterfly. shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Oh, Come on, put that ever. thing down. Tell me what to do. Wowzer, it's happening. Oh, 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 we gotta, we gotta break it open. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even I'm fearing. punk ass, would they? Uh-uh, I'm fearing. I'm fearing. <gasps> Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. <laughs> the stress. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Stress. Another shitty day. For saying that, I just that run the whole thing. Happen. With this, this gun, like. Real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Can we do anything else here? Do not freak out. Here's the butterfly. <sighs> this does not sound like the fire alarm. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. He looks like someone I know in real life. Uh, I can't put my finger on who, though. But it looks, he looks very familiar. <laughs> Can we just leave? Or should we talk to the principal? Let's you talk. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm feeling I'm, stressed. I'm just a little worried about my future. We're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, Max, talk to me. You know what? You know what? We're gonna report Nathan. We're gonna go for it. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most oh. honored students. Mm. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing mm -hmm. a weapon in the girls' bathroom. Fight him. Fight so him, So what Max. happened next? Punch him in the face. Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Mm. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Fight him. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the press... Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. You know what? Does he hate me? You won't be able to undo your choices. You know what? No. Well, we reported him. Oh, hi, Zeal. Yes, we're in high school. This is our junior year, I do believe. And this is a little messed up school. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good day. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? We just Thank reported you. him. You know. We're living on the edge. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. 
But would you do Miss Gran a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Oh, I know. Um... Uh, it could have helped Rachel. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. <laughs> No. I can see both sides. No, You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. Mm. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Sign it. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not your surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Sucking up to Miss Grant. She's so cool. Ah! No, I hate it. I hate what. Oh, uh, I do like Choices Game, but it's like, oh. Oh, holy. Hang on. Uh, some coffee, please. Make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to save her physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure it. Velocity. So don't ignore this message. Hi Max, can you get my flash drive? I need some info in space. Hello? Sorry, running late in the same day. I'll meet you in the lot looking cool, you'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Do we meet new people? No. Oh, with principal? David Nathan. Oh, is there another journal? There's so many journals. Oh my gosh. You know what? We're not. We're not okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. We ain't read him. Is this Juliet? Oh, it wants me to read the journals, though. I felt so shitty. I just wanted to get to the bathroom to be alone and wash my face after the nightmare, or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd, beautiful blue butterfly flutter in right when I took a photo of it in the corner. Nathan Prescott came in freaking out, talking to himself. I hid in the corner, and this punk girl came in. They started arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason, as if I could stop the bullet. But suddenly I could feel the world twisting around me, and this pressure in my head, everything seemed to rewind, and I found myself right back in class at my desk. I literally thought I had been <laughs> dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Major Groundhog Day deja vu. She's very punny. Somehow I was able to actually rewind time. Ob objective. I need to go to my room to get Warren's flash drive. We're not going to read. I know there's two more. Let me look. I just want to look at stuff. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. What moment? Hmm. Stella? For someone who says she doesn't remember people's names. Hey there, Stella. Should hey, I... I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Yeah. He's I think good. so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. Everybody's if Victoria wasn't teacher. all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria? Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not <laughs> the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. 
You knew Rachel. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of click. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Hmm. Who's it? Let's be a June set here. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Interesting. Hayden? Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Nathan Prescott. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. <laughs> he seems genuinely unstable to me. After what we saw, Nate yeah. has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk about the Vortex Club. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Oh, relax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Hi, Kenny. Don't I? We judge Nathan. He did some uh, some sketchy stuff. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Oh, uh, was Rachel in the Vortex Club? Did Ra Victoria like Rachel? What happened to her? Did Victoria like Rachel? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What happened to her? What do you think happened to her? Ask all them questions. Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? We know she Rachel was Vortex actually club. a member of the Vortex yeah. Club? No. Rachel was like oh. her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. I'm more confused than before. It's <laughs> such a mystery. Confusion. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Hi, Kenny. Welcome. You've only missed a little bit. Rundown. Nathan Pre Oh, oh, we have a... Pictures! Pictures! Pictures. We are Max. This is our teacher in our photography class. This is a very kind girl. This is like the it girl. This is the it boy. This is the security guy. This is our principal. Um, this guy pulled out a gun in a bathroom and shot somebody. And we have rewind powers. So we were able to rewind and save the girl that he shot. And now we're investigating. There's another girl who disappeared. So long story short, <laughs> there you go. Feels the same as it started around season seven of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> and they just throw you in. Like, we've only been playing for a bit. 
We've just been. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is this legal? Is that really yours? <laughs> Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. <laughs> this might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Maybe we can fly this time? Sorry, Max. I have oh. to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Oh. Can we go back? We're gonna see. This is our Wuhan power. We're gonna. Go back and fly the drone. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You wanna fly my drone? Yes. <laughs> I'd love to. I love planes and. People are gonna say no. This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Okay, so we got the same. Oh! Oh! What a complicated name for such a tiny no. drone. <laughs> Just a little rustle in her backpack? Maybe we're the real creeper. Who wants to talk? Did we get a message? Is that what that is? No? Too many things. Oh, and there's so many journal entries. We're gonna read these later. <laughs> We're attempting to go to our dorm. <gasps> Wrong button! Wrong button! Stop! <gasps> I did a bad. Can we sit? Can we ponder? She's very interesting. So bizarre to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. So sad. Why does everyone say like high school is supposed to be the best years of your life? Like wrong? <laughs> like who says that? Parking lot? Warren's really... waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot. So oh. I better get back to my dorm. I don't really know where we're going. Mine was like I enjoyed my high school career, but like I wouldn't say it was the best years of my life. <gasps> Let's talk to Justin. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to Thrash. We'll say, oh yeah. I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump. <laughs> You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip. You should walk on. Should we go back <laughs> and try to impress him? Max likes the skater guys. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? <laughs> I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. <laughs> nah, I just can't skate with oh. shit. Oh, check it. We're going to destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Uh, we'll do a tray flip. Go for a tray okay, flip. Okay, I see your message. I don't know Let's why it's blocked, all over that but I can't action. accept it. So, I agree. Oh, oh. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess I need to mess. We're going to take a photo of him? We're going to take a photo. No, it's fine. I didn't think the censors would censor a bitch. I mean, this game says every curse word, so I don't know why chat's gotta be censored. It's whatever. Oh, we just took a picture of the kid just dying on the ground. Who are we? <gasps> are these photos we could take? Possible photos? Who's that? Do we need some of them? Oh, wait, can we click? Oh my gosh. We're not gonna read everybody. We like Kate. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
We ain't got time for that. <laughs> it's okay. Profanity doesn't bother me. I guess I need to mess with the settings more. I've never had that come up. <laughs> uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. No one likes Nathan. You, you know him. I busted him. Who I turned busted him, in? him today with a gun. What? Yeah. Seriously. I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. <laughs> Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Get it. Yes. We did it. Clever. We're not a fan. You can't be bringing weapons to school. Can we not go to the dorms? Oh, left mouse button. Oh, left mouse button. Not right. <laughs> Come on, Logan. Bring it, bro. Right? Like, he straight up brought a gun. Everyone's like, great, you report him. Not like, what? No one's freaking out. Like, this is a big issue. He literally shot somebody, but she's not dead now because we saved her. I need to like... go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. <sighs> Can we look? No, we're not going to read everything. I said we were, but now I've changed my mind. We want to talk to everybody. <gasps> Alyssa. Oh. Hi, Max. Uh, how are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself reading Chicklet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading Chicklet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Can you speak to her again? Sorry. Oh. I really have to find out what happens. Sorry. Logan. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. <laughs> yeah. Yo, bro. <laughs> Who are these people? Who's this? This is Justin. Awesome. Oh, it's Zachary. We saw him earlier. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Should we talk to you again? Football, Max. Oh. Big okay. football. Step away. Gosh, why is everybody so... Howdy, Samuel. This. Well, hello there. Uh... What's with these posters? What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? <laughs> well, only she would know that, right? Uh, I oh, guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. Oh my gosh. So the Vortex Club is like the elite social club that like all the jocks and the it girls are in. Like Nathan Prescott and Victoria are the like leaders of it. Yeah. I know. He, I don't know how I feel about him. Uh, Les, we're going to ask all these questions. You knew Rachel? Well. How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Yeah. Uh, what? What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Nice, bro. Okay, that was like a little creepy. Like a little creepy. Oh look, that's Victoria. We're gonna meet her. Well, you're gonna meet her. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. <sighs> what a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> we got a fighter. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. This? Oh, wait. Bitty. Hold that pose. This so original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? <laughs> I can't. Victoria, I'll get your bony ass out of my way. 
I can't. Like, who, can we spray her with the sprinkler? <gasps> okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler? Can valve? we please? Okay, I'm not one for violence. Ooh, there's a little butterfly. What's this? Which I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. Oh, that's right. I just want to get Victoria oh. the hell out of the way. Okay, Samuel's a little creepy, but I'm, we don't want to hurt people. We don't want to cause too much violence. Oh, we'll use it. We're not even gonna look. We're just gonna use it. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? <laughs> you look great. I can't even chill on the steps. <sighs> she can't even chill on the steps. Move, biddy. Get no out. shall pass. Kippy, she looks like a pissed off wet cat. And she's still stylish. Are we gonna spill paint on her? No. No. Can we? Hey, Samuel. Listen. Okay. Problem solving time. Let's go back into here. I feel like there's something we can do. Can we like knock the paint down with like a broom? Maybe. We're choosing violence, but not the Nathan Prescott kind of violence. Is there nothing in here? Hmm. Oh, it's Kate! Wait, we have to talk to Kate. Can we not talk to Kate? Oh, she looks so sad. She also kind of looks... There's only one way around this. Did I miss my opportunity? We missed the chance. But I wanted to talk to Kate, because she looks sad. Uh, sorry, Kate. What am I supposed to do, though? Can we check our journal? Oh, we ha okay. We need to get Victoria out of the way. Okay, we've already read this one. I know the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go to the bathroom and see if I could save the girl from Nathan this time. I had no idea how either... I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again and couldn't leave it when I when Nathan showed up, freaked out. Freaking out all over again. Then the girl came to the bathroom and before Nathan could shoot her, I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory. Until I got grilled by the security chief, David Matson, who thinks he's Chuck Norris, Blackwell Ranger. Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom, but no, I'm the problem. I was so glad when Principal Wells stepped in to shoo David away. You preach, honey. <laughs> this is your rhyme. <laughs> then I made the possible fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student would carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in the previous timeline. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream, then ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power for wine time and don't know how to top that. A lot happened. <laughs> Everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to anybody about this. Well, the only person I could, I haven't seen in five years. I could confine Warren. He's smart and no science, so maybe he could even think of an explanation. But I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on the down low with this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a text asking for a splash drive back, even though I haven't had a chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist and Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill, all kinds of Amazon women, black and white badassery. Tetsu? A total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals and Scott Pilgrim for about the millionth time. <laughs> It's Ken Ken. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. No. On a side note, I saw a missing persons poster on campus for Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. Oh. Okay, I think we have to write and go back more. We gotta fight these biddies. Okay. 
Do we not go back for enough? Stop! Stop! Oh, I just... Okay. Let's tamper with the bucket. Then we'll turn up the sprinklers. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. Yeah. Okay, he walks very sad though. Okay. Should we not do the sprinklers or should we still do the sprinklers? We're gonna still do the sprinklers. I feel like we have to. Get them to stand up. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Get him! Get him! Get him! Punch him in the face! No, we're not punching. Not that kind of violence. <gasps> Fall on her. Fall on her. No. Yes. No way. No fucking you okay, way. Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hey. Where are hold the on, people at? Hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. <laughs> Are we gonna fight her? Let's throw uh, her in. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Oh, oh! We're too nice. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. No. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Nice, bro. You deserve a better shot. <laughs> Sorry about blocking you and, and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Look, see? There's, what's the saying? Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer? Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. No, we're not playing her. She got paint dumped on her, and she got wet by the sprinkler, so... We're not gonna push our luck. Oh. Ooh. A map. Let's look at it. Welcome to Black Hill. There's us. Oh. Look how big her room is. What the heck? Brooke. Juliet Taylor. Kate lives close. 222. That's my favorite number. All Hurry, teams. Courtney. Taylor and... Why you... Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Everybody here is ruthless. Okay, we're not gonna leave the posters. Who's here? So, did someone just... Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Murder. No boys allowed. Juliet, extreme reporter. Juliet, read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Seriously, who cares? <laughs> Dump on Dana's Facebook. still a cheerleader at heart. Uh, that's the missing persons. I guess we'll look at it again. We've this girl must one. have been popular. She's everywhere. She did live on this floor. Who's this? Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Fire alarm. <laughs> Always the fire. At alarm. least that's an alarm from this century. Okay. Who? We don't want to go to our room. We want to look at. <gasps> oh no! Okay, this is just mean and stupid. We're gonna race it. We're gonna be nice. Aww. This actual consequence. Good. We stand up for our friend Kate. Uh oh. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Room's open. That's, no, we're not being a creeper. We're a little bit of a creeper. But 
What's this poster really trying to tell me? This is your planet when it comes to protecting the environment. You're the boss. It's up to us to make a... <laughs> wow! Okay! <laughs> Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. I can't wait to meet Warren. Um, this is our board. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Did we look at all the rooms we can look at? Okay. Yeah, this is sketch. Was this always here? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. This is this is a little sketch. Ugh, enter. This is scary. Oh, a little guitar. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Oh, we about to look at everything. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Just more stressed. Just this truth. Truth, Max. Let's take selfies. Take all the selfies. So the Max there. Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. <laughs> when I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. We're not going to read that, but he's talking about the stuff on there, I'm assuming. Turn off. No, turn on. Whoa, whoa. We like the ambient lighting. Lie down? Not yet. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. That's cute. Art books? Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. We're not I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music? Oh, she That's the Sorry. only <laughs> tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. She looks so small. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Cute. I love this. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. We can go back in time, though. It's equally as cool. Black top. We're not... Oh, why do I keep... I keep petting the wrong One day button. I'll organize my film collection. Mm -hmm. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. We have a plan? I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. Should we water it? You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. That's a big plan to have in your dorm room, though. Like, legit. This actual, everything has consequences. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Everything. Always looking. Water in the dang plant. Sticky note. Is this from Warren? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it oh. note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. So we have to go Great. find Dana. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Now we'll use stuff. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn? <laughs> Warren makes me laugh. Max. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I should never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather electric, eclectic collection of TV, cult, classic, and fucked up films on a fat flash drive. If you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than artist. Now you can quickly explain to me how a camera works. You see, you Warren G. I can't wait to meet Warren. Like, <laughs> he sounds so cool. It's okay. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. I, oh. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. 
I should have every Bradbury book for myself. She's not wrong. I have a poor old. Hard what to believe expensive. I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, mother and father. Aw. This is Ken. I love that Cookies? mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. $200 gift certificate? Oh. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? We're not going to play the guitar. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play you it You know what, more. we'll play it. We just won't be able to hear it. But we'll play it, because I feel like this choice will matter. <laughs> Oh, we can't hear it? I thought I turned off and said, hold on. All right, that's enough. We practice. That's me practicing the guitar. <laughs> Sit down, play a few chords. All right, good enough. Okay, we'll look at the pennant and then we will head. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Can we lay down for a second? Have more thought-provoking conversations. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Hmm. Okay, now we go. Also, this is a big dorm room for one person. This is like the size of my dorm room, but like for two people. I mean, it wasn't exactly laid out the same. But <laughs> it was about that size. Okay. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Is that Juliet? Talking smack. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey. Yeah, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? I have no idea, Juliet. I want to say Watson or Olson. Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of We're right. You do. We Just because right. I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about I'm them? Dead. We According to Victoria, we Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you wuss. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to Victoria's room and just break in because the door is open. We're not creepy at all. Oh man. Her room is huge, yeah. Okay. This is so Your creepy. Your Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Boy, is the Vortex Club a cult? Oh, Juliet Watson. Okay. We were right, though. I'm very... We're not going to read that. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Kenny. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Victoria good on your hates homework. Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. 
I appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> I'm just looking at everything. Interesting. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Oh my gosh. She's obsessed. Learn how to use her computer. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass believes me, and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Go get your popcorn. Oh. Of course, of course. Hope to see you again soon. That's cool, this though. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. They like gallery letter. They next level. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Dear Miss Chase, thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Um, we'll look at these and then we'll leave. <gasps> Speaking of selfies. We're not going to mess it up. No, no, no. We're not going to wreak havoc. We're just going to do a little bit of mischief. <laughs> A little bit of mischief. Okay. Okay. Juliet, read this. Calm down, honey bun. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. She seems cool. Okay, for being 18, Max is very petite. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Like, there's nothing wrong, but she just compared everyone else like she's such a little petite nugget. And it's so cute. We're just gonna take the flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. What was that voice? Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Should we use the flash drive? I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Read science homework, Warren G's incredible film library, greatest TV shows ever, Mosaic Rundums. Not downloaded the party buster on only Epson G's max. Cool beans, yo. That was a loud noise. We're just gonna look at everybody. This is stuff. both sad and pathetic. What's it say? Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. XO Logan. Dang girl. It would be a cool sticker without the word. <laughs> Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Juliet. <laughs> Victoria's not nice. Juliet gets her rage Poor on. Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry, too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Ooh. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Mm, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. 
When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Aw. Oh. It's us. Oh, warm trouble like where you at, Biddy? Whoa, hang on. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take on my way. Bye. Oh, mom sent us a text. Happy birthday, Maxine. We still can't believe it's 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this, mom. <gasps> Oh, oh, things like this. Oh, man. Piss me off. Piss me off. Piss me off. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive. And yes, Victoria and her Vortex vixens blocked me from getting in and even took my picture. It was so high school movie. I can't believe she did it. She actually told me to go fuck your selfie, though. It was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I have been given an actual gift from the universe. But it did give me the chance to test it out. I have to meet Orn in the parking lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> why is there a pregnancy test? What the heck? But I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps covered in paint. She didn't look like the queen beach of Blackwell. Just the lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. She even deleted the picture she took of me off her phone. So maybe there's hope for the future. More high school drama. Julia wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything. And since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop, found out that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, it felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. Why is there a pregnancy test, though? Why? Hmm? That's what I want to know. Okay. Oh? Okay, to the parking lot. That guy's gone, Logan's gone. And so is Kate. Oh, we should have talked to Kate. Fuck this shit. Ow, what? that hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Why? Cause he raged? Are we gonna go talk to him? Hey! This shit. Get lost, hipster. Ow. I'm not doing any interviews. Okay. That didn't work. Oh, we gotta talk to her. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually she even notice. somebody. A sexual of consequences. Oh my gosh, Victoria. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. <laughs> okay. Good. I hope it has consequences. We have to go to the parking lot. We gotta see all Biddy. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Not Kate. Take photo? We're taking a photo. Bad choice. We're doing it. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out oh, what we're side so you're mean. on. Please, leave we me need to intervene. <laughs> Kate's just so... <laughs> we're so bad. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. <gasps> Thanks for nothing, Matt. No, okay, 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 okay. That was really... Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. Okay, okay, we were shitty. I get it. Okay, line. fine. I hear I you. I and try something different. That was so awful. Why? Why? Why did we take a picture? 
It was there, and it was like, So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. We're gonna intervene. That's the right hey, thing to do. Why don't Not you take leave pictures. her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. You remember that. Oh, Max. That was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Ugh. I just. Ugh, I don't I like, like this. an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. You know what? That's okay. We stood up for Kate, which is what we should have done. Do we still have the picture, though? I guess we rewound so we wouldn't have it. They didn't want me to be distracted. Where's Warren? There he is. I'm glad I stepped in that time. I can't stand to see people being bullied. What's that? I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Cars equal death. What's up with the toilet paper everywhere? Who toilet paper's a bike? Are you tell me? Oh man. All the missing persons posters. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. Hmm. There's a dog! That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. I want, I want to take a picture of the dog, though. That'd be so cute. Let's draw. <laughs> Let's draw. It's not a dirty window unless somebody <laughs> writes clean me on it. <laughs> Let's take a photo of that. I'm so dirty. <laughs> I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Everything has consequences. Should we look? There, now it's officially a dirty window. More missing persons posters? Yo, Max, check it out. No. I want to look at the squirrel. Look how happy it is. I'm just here for. Oh, is that a bird? I'm here for the animal life. Come this, on over here, oh, please. Why do you look like me? You look just like me. <laughs> and there's Warren. Why do we look so Did he similar? actually buy a used car? We look like the same. Yo, Max, check it out. Look at Warren in his <laughs> wayback machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Oh! <gasps> no problem. We just friend zoned him so hard. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I like Warren. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Movie booty? <laughs> oh. Oh. Ugh. I've been busy. No, I've been way too busy with class. Be honest, life. honesty's Damn, best. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. <laughs> For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, no? No fucking way will I watch that. My what? mind is twisted enough. 
I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. <gasps> Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say what it. What kind of movie is that? <laughs> uh, uh, how so? We'll ask questions. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh, God. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk. Let's I need be to honest. talk to somebody just to get it out Where of my system. Still? Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? <laughs> I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth, I okay? I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his you office. You did, though. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I call the police. Take a step back. Take a step back. He... Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Seems a little on edge. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! God bless. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents. Not the principal. That. Or that whore leave in the bathroom. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Hit him! Oh, bro, I got this! <laughs> Get in, Max! What the? Your punk ass is out in there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody messes with me! Warren! We just left Warren! I put the security cards there. Oh my gosh! Man, Nathan Prescott <laughs> is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. It's oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing, I have no idea. Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. We you're do. not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Um, I guess, no. Uh, no, we liked Seattle. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. <laughs> Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson, of course. <clears throat> for the teacher, really. Only we didn't for Mark come back Jefferson. For them. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I want to take a break. I'm sorry. I'm going to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. 
Don't use them on me, Max. Dying with speaking facts. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> the posters have me dead. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Oh, we gotta look at everything. Whoa! This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Missy, wish you were here, Rach. Ooh. So they knew each other. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. I searched that because we're new. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. We're going to search the box. We're just going to look at everything. Comes into our friend's room. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. We're going to look at it. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student when she cared. Okay, we'll go back so we didn't break the thing. We'll just look at it. Old cardboard boxes. We know what's in it. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. We're gonna look now. Chloe's we dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Oh, at the very top said dad is gone. <laughs> Nothing but junk in this suitcase. It's just vibing. It's up here. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. <laughs> Power strip? Let's look at the TV. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Okay. Let's switch on the power strip, because I'm sure to play music. We want to play music? Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. <laughs> We're just using everybody. She looks podcast. super happy. They're such a creeper. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Mm. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Mm. We used to dare each other to climb down. But never did. Just looking at the trash. We're looking everywhere. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. <laughs> I 
rummage around. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. That's her Emily. So who is she? Well, that's who she is. So who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot, so Rachel took my place. I never forgot. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see. So what happened? What about your mom? What happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know? What about her parents? What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Hmm. They were very close. Very close. Go on, it's an MP3, not a vinyl. You can play it. Okay, calm down. We turned off the music, so. We got jammed to nothing, just silence. Anyway. You can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. I think, Chloe. Can you let me chillax for a bit? Okay, alone? Okay. The tools Rachel are still downstairs. Something, something. something. Are we just gonna be creepy and walk around their house? They're such a creeper. Why are we looking Whoa, at anything? Dark. I cannot see anything. Oh no. Whoa. Dark. Oh, I cannot okay. see anything. <laughs> Quit complaining. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Don't use animal products. We like to go cruelty free. Save the babies. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe, but here I am. You're right, you're right. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. <laughs> Nothing's changed, except for me and Chloe. 
We're just gonna go in this room too. Oh, that's creepy. We're in <laughs> Chloe. Oh God, this must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. I know. <laughs> we got jump scared by the bird. Good Lord. Oh <laughs> shit. Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Let's open the window. Let's go back. Oh. Open it. We just let a bird into the house, though. Huh. Huh. Well. Dog tags. Sweet. David Matson. Is her mother dating the security guard? No. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Apocalypse self-help. Oh my. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Also, okay. So chat looks really weird right now. It's like frozen. Half, it's not like scrolled up all the way. But I can't scroll. Like, I can't get to that screen. No matter how hard I try, my mouse will not leave this monitor. So, if there's anyone in chat... I apologize. I can't. I can't see anything. Joyce still it's works like, at the it's diner. It's like an error message. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, Chloe's new dad is the security guard. We called it. Just so nosy. Uh oh. The prices are late on their bills. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's, Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. You only saw how he spoke to Kate? Come on, we're gonna turn off the window. Should we like close the window? But the bird, can we get the bird out? We're gonna look at the bird. You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. Uh, Cause I feel like I should close the window but then it'll look even weirder. Aw, Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Mm -hmm. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. The alarm clock's just beeping off. You know what, we're gonna leave the bird in the window open. Go for it. Oh no, since we like, quote, saved a life, is something else gonna die? Something else is gonna happen now, because it's like, universe, life for a life, things have to be balanced. We're Doesn't so look nosy. Like the Price yet. family is rolling in dough these days. Goodness gracious, just looking at their mail. We are a creeper. Now, this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Kate? Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem, that guy is an asshole. Where is that? Max, you're right, always you okay? Did you want to get that tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. We need to get tea with our little, our little nugget friend. Oh my gosh, we've missed. <gasps> what the fluff? <laughs> Once I gave Juliet the proof that Victoria was behind it all, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, but we said nasty things about Victoria, and I think it definitely made her feel better. We talked about Warren and Dana and implied he likes me. Ew. I'm starting to get the hang of this whole rewind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but there was... 
There has to be a reason it was given to me, so I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa from getting a football-fueled headshot. I mean, it felt amazing just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Manson hassling Kate Marsh. I couldn't hear anything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed. I went over to stop him from being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. He was an asshole, as usual. But I felt good about what I did, and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her. And I did that without using my rewind power. Oh, we did, though, because we took a picture of her. <laughs> the day keeps getting stranger. I don't even believe what I'm writing. And I can't even do a simple task like giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case, though, it turned out half bad and half good, which I guess in, is the yin and yang of life. Um, when I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott. Freaking out all over again. He got all up in my face and accused me of bullshit. Even though I was scared because I knew what because <laughs> I know what he did to that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in a truck. My former best friend, Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like what WTF? Next thing I knew, I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock. I almost par I was almost paralyzed especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue to save me. All the bizarro and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck, listening to music and staring at her dashboard bobblehead might be at the top. So I tried to process the fact that Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings, and cool boots, and I looked like a dork. I don't know where to start and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch so we sat like strangers at least i had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot melee with nathan and warren my camera got busted i didn't care considering everything else going on but it sucked on top of everything else going on going back to chloe's old house for the first time in uh five years was like the ultimate rewind some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self, cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill, so I explored her room to play catch up on what she was into these days. She, like, stalked her whole room. I'm an other one. What? Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She had become best friends with Rachel, and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe alone all those years when she most needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished, vanished after meeting some amazing dude. Probably some psycho online. Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. So the journal entries pretty much just, like, sum up everything that we've done. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. You're just nosy Nancy. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Language? Language. Can't even say language. <laughs> Cereal, milk, peanut butter, chocolate, cake, or oil, bananas, toilet paper. <laughs> Another window? What? It's past almost 7 o'clock? Holy moly. Hey. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. I guess they're aging these books. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a shipwreck now. Ominous <laughs> stain on the floor? Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. 
cute. So yeah, this is. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Shelf? Nothing. This is so lame. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? I get putting like them up in the hallway and stuff, but not like and like outside the dorms to see who's coming and going in, but like I feel like in the halls and stuff is a little bit Chloe's extra. stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've gotta be shitting me. We've made that connection, Chloe. He was in the army. Oh. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. <sighs> yes! Score! A score of what? You're not even doing it. This will have consequences. Ooh. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? That's a little freaky. That's a lot of freaky, actually. <gasps> I just got jump scared by nothing. Uh, can we close this? Yeah, let's. <laughs> These are way too big. Scary. I need tiny tools for that camera. I don't want to use the laptop because I don't want us to get in trouble. Shit! Butterfingers! Chloe, why are you so bad? You're not Chloe, Max. I wonder what's in those files up there. I don't want to risk it. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Ooh, look at all this food. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Oh my gosh. They might be a preppers a little bit. Okay, I guess we gotta look at the. Oh, we're gonna have to look no at the files. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Not David. We're not David. All right, we'll look at the files. Oh man, I'll always make them fall. We're gonna look at it though. Kate Marsh. Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Kate Marsh, she knows something. Oh my gosh. 317 Blackwell Academy parking. Uh. We're still gonna put him back up there. Well. Did we open these already? Chloe's stepdad is head of yes. security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Is there anything else out here? Hmm. What is this? 
So we didn't find any tiny tools. What's this? Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. Listen to it. Open that door. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. <laughs> William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Oh, well, five years later. I think so. Let's sit. Have more profound thoughts. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. <laughs> what about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant <laughs> escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Hmm. They were so close. Let's look at this one. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. What's this little door? It's like trash. Is there nothing out here? We're looking for tiny tools. There's a jar. Okay. Travel money. I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. We'll go back upstairs? No ah. need to go there now. No reason to go now. But I didn't find what I didn't find tiny tools. We're gonna have to look around more, aren't we? Uh we're gonna have to open this back up. Should I switch the song? Decisions, decisions. I doubt we're gonna see anything though. Cause yeah. Oh. Oh, hang on. Let's close it. There's tools both behind us. Ah. Boom! Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Just hope, hope they fall. That was off. very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Can we not reach that? Let's see. The tools are stuck, 
out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Really? We're gonna use our big brain here. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Oh. <laughs> Now we're going to use our big brain. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's glitching out a little bit. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. All right, now. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Let's go. Oh, I, would... <laughs> I can't even be right instead of what. Oh, why are we? Why are we struggling? You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. <laughs> I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just been all right. Just a bit. We got to be honest. Bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. <laughs> okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Well, we told the principal about the gun, but not about the drugs and Chloe. Like who, though? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. True. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's <laughs> dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. Oh, let's take a picture of her. <laughs> she's so cool. Like, she's just, she gives off like cool vibes. 
Like someone you just want to like chill with. This song fucking rules. <laughs> Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes. yes. Break it down, oh. Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Uh -oh. Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Hide in the closet. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Hide in the closet. Find a place to hide now. Chloe, go. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. <laughs> Get smart. <laughs> Let me in now. We are not One second. My graceful. Stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Where are we supposed to go? Oh. I'm, I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? One, two. Three. Shit. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. Panicked. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God. I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait. Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Ah! Take blame Chloe, take the blame. Ah! Take the blame, 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 take the blame. Ah, take the blame. Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now. Do Get you? the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Was it though? Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for oh. anybody. Even Chloe. <sighs> I have to think about my own future. Oh, I don't like this. Uh we couldn't hide though. Hiding was not an option. Ah, <sighs> oh, Chloe. Chloe, what are we gonna do? Max, open the window and we can blow this popsicle stand. <sighs> Why is the floor smoking? Is that like where the cigarette is? Do we go? Because once we leave, we can't come back. Oh! But if they call the police and they do a drug test, we'll be negative because we weren't smoking the pot. Okay. We can't get in trouble because we technically didn't do anything wrong. That's how we're gonna justify it. Also, I have no idea how long episode one is. 
I have no clue. And my phone's dead, so I can't look it up. It's now working. I was also going to see if I could fix chat. Because chat, I don't know why it says error. I don't really know what's happening. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. There's a bird. Ooh, we're gonna take a photo. I got you. Take a picture of his little butt. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. <gasps> Gosh. People can be such pigs. You're not wrong. Oh, I can't do it. Why am I trying to go back? I don't really know what I'm doing. This dog would be it. <gasps> Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me. Stare contest. Oh, don't run. Oh, he's so cute. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Mm. This is so cool, though. Warm dexterous. Ah! Oh. Earth to Max, your white knight worn here. I know you were worried about me. Oh! I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call you back later. Care, I swear. No problem. You still have to tell me your big secret. Okay. Oh, we were supposed to hang out with Kate. There's another book? Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Oh, that's a really cute one. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. A stump. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Max Too bad I can't rewind that far back. BFF pants. Haiku. A tree haiku? How pretty. Footprints? Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? This is really sketchy. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Oh, I just saw my dad outside walk by. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. I don't know why I'm so jumpy. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. <laughs> How long has that been here? <laughs> Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Cause you left, sister. Oh, are we gonna have a cute little sit on the bench? You sure you don't wanna be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood, my pleasure. We'll just say my pleasure. Because I don't think she's truly my in a pleasure. Good mood. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. 
I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out, okay? I should have taken this photo. He freaked out, okay? He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. She was cool. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. There were there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a mm -hmm. monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? What's Nathan's secret? Blast. Even yours? Heck with Nathan. Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. What about Nathan? So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. We all fight him. Go on. We all fight Everything was a blur. Booty. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. That's fucked up. I'm so furious. I'm furious. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, let's call the police. He's still dangerous. Let's... He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Dad! Oh my gosh! 
Can you go this way? I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Teleport yourself. <gasps> Ooh, I understand. I feel like the doe is eating me. I get you. We don't need that. Uh. what happened <gasps> this feels like the end of the world oh my lord the tornado is back for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. That's like how it snowed the other Our day here. A storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Dang. We're still not, is this still episode one? Or is this, I think it's the end of episode one. Cause I'm like, I have to leave shortly. <laughs> I'm assuming there's supposed to be music. Oh, little Warren. Oh, he's just a little bean. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, a little happy dog. Who is this man? Uh, Victoria? He has a camera. Oh, Chrysalis. 
Episode one. Oh, can we look? You reported Nathan. Okay, 62% of people reported Nathan. 74% comforted Victoria. 84% intervened and helped out. We did take a picture, but then we felt a little bad about it. Uh, I did know how to hide. Took the blame for Chloe. Blamed Chloe. Came out of hiding, intervened, you stayed hidden. 29% took the blame for Chloe. 59% uh, you didn't let Daniel draw your portrait? Did Daniel want to draw a portrait? 42% signed Miss Grant's petition. 78% helped Alyssa. 43% uh, erased insults on Kate's slate. Why would you not? Kate's our little friend. 68% watered the plant. 98% didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. I didn't see the pregnancy test. I saw it on the thing, but I didn't touch it. I actually didn't see it. I saw it on our journal, but I didn't even look at it. So I was didn't want to be too nosy. Nine, <laughs> uh, seventy-nine percent didn't touch Victoria's photos. Twenty percent wrote on the dirty RV. Forty-two percent saved the bird. Eighty-eight percent didn't break Chloe's snow globe. You left evidence while searching through David's stuff. You didn't leave any. So eighty-one percent didn't leave evidence. Sixty-two percent read David's files. Oh, this friend. Okay. Oh. Hey, oh, I don't want to go into the next episode. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I want to exit. We don't exit. What is it? That is the first episode of life is strange very exciting very exciting that was a lot of fun i didn't realize how long it was gonna be like i have no clue how long i've been streaming but that was so much fun oh my gosh what a cute little game like i've seen it played through a long time ago but i obviously didn't remember a lot of the things that happened like i knew it covered deeper topics and like mature topics but that was really fun i'm excited i don't know when we're gonna play this next i think we're gonna do tomorrow is stardew valley and then friday will probably be slime rancher and then we might play it on saturday evening or we might do zardy's maze again i'm not exactly sure what we're gonna play next um on saturday We'll see. We'll see. It depends if I want to get scared or get hit in the gut with some emotional stuff. But let's find someone to raid and see what people are doing. Let's see what anybody do anything fun. Um, hmm. I don't. A lot of people who I follow aren't really on right now. So we'll do raid someone who's playing The Sims 4. We've raided her before. It's, what is her name? Steph Casey. She's pretty chill. She plays a lot of The Sims. And she's very nice, so. We'll raid her. But I appreciate you all hanging out for the first episode of Life is Strange. And I cannot wait to play the next one. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.